cartoon characters typically only have four digits on their hand. As long as he's got eight fingers and eight toes, he's fine by me. We count in base 10 because we have 10 fingers. The Simpsons also count in base 10, but they only have eight fingers. There is a character in The Simpsons who has 10 digits, and that character is God. And because God created the universe and God created mathematics, then The Simpsons has to be in base 10. This is my secret life. This is my secret life. This is my secret life. There can be a real tension between science and religion. And there can be people who say, look, you know, whatever's in the Bible has to be true, even if it contradicts the science. There are some people who say that the world was created just 4,000 years ago because that's what the Bible says, and they will deny the science. I don't think it has to be that way, necessarily. I, I know there are some people who are scientists and who are religious, and they manage to, to marry those two views of the world. Somebody who did it very well was a guy called Georges Lemaitre who should be one of the most famous people in the world because he came up with the Big Bang Theory. He was a cosmologist and a priest. And he was one of the very first people to propose the idea that the universe was created at a, a finite time ago, with all the matter compressed into what he called a primeval atom. He talked about a day without a yesterday, a very poetic phrase. And people said to him, you know, how can you be religious and at the same time be a physicist? And he said, well, there are two ways of arriving at the truth. And he said that he decided to follow them both. If he wanted to explore issues of morality and ethics and spirituality, he would look at his Bible. But if he wanted to understand the universe, if he wanted to understand cosmology, he would do experiments. And so the two can live hand in hand in some people's hearts and some people's minds. Mm -hmm.